unique netherite sets, um, meaning that they're not tiered. These are obviously colored as netherite. These are all just very colorful. References to story mode. Uh, Over here on this side, um, and this is a unique made up set. The command block, uh, the command block tools were from story mode. These, the, the, those are these, they were diamond tools before netherite was added to Minecraft. Uh, I added the, the, uh, the netherite command block tools. They're RGB and they glow uh, in between all the colors of the, the uh, normal command block tools, you know, the ones that are in story mode. Uh, I made up the armor, I think it's very fitting, very cool. And then obviously, the netherite armor also glows and it's RGB, uh, and that's super cool. Over here, we have more unique netherite sets inspired by Minecraft China edition, uh, taking a lot of creative liberties to bring a lot of fun to your world. I mean, you know, the robot sort robot set, I decided to make it like lasers, you know, so we could have lightsabers in my pack. And uh, like over here, we have the dungeons weapons. Now, this is a normal sword, you know, netherite sword. And this is a, this is a dancer sword, which is a du dual blade. So a normal uh, robot sword would be this. And then a dancer's robot sword would be a double lightsaber, which is obviously uh, Star Wars favorite, so I wanted to add it, and uh, there you go. You can also have it. You know, it's about the variety. You know, I'm doing it for the players, I guess, and for me, even though I don't really ever play Minecraft that much. But you know, yeah, more China edition sets. I mean, I did an entire video about this, going really in depth about all the info. You should probably watch that one for the China edition sets because it's a, a lot of complicated lore that not many people know about. Uh, to be honest. Then behind all the weapons uh, and uh, Netherite collections over here on this side, we have uh, mob renames. It's the Kirin. Uh, it's a horse rename. Blocko is a wolf. Uh, King B Dogs uh, from uh, April Fools. Mars also from April Fools. Blocko is from Story Mode. Kieran is from Minecraft China Edition. Ruben from Minecraft Story Mode is in here. Then we have uh, Techno Blade from Real Life, uh, obviously. Um, rest in peace. Uh, then this is a normal Iron Golem. I redesigned the Iron Golem in my, in my pack, as you may know or not. Maybe this is your first video. Welcome. It's a barely default. Uh, um, some people didn't like the pumpkin because obviously the default Iron Golem doesn't have a pumpkin. And I decided, you know, you can share uh, a snow golem uh, and then you remove the pumpkin. So I decided if you name any Iron Golem variant shared, uh, it'll, it, it'll, it'll just, uh, it won't have the pumpkin. So I thought that was pretty clever, catering a bit to uh, player demand. And, uh, and yeah, there you go. That's where we're at. I added these story mode variants also. Again, you can call these ones Big big Hank or Large Henry. And then if you put Sheared in front of any name, uh, it, it'll have the default robot head. Furnace Golem from Minecraft Earth, actually. The White Pumpkin, which is a... The, the pumpkin is a reference from the story mode. And then I just made up the body. I thought it was fun. I mean, I thought it was stupid to add a White Pumpkin variant and then have a mob that has a pumpkin head and then not have a White Pumpkin variant for it. The pellet uses cast iron and then the yellow from the eyes of the uh, white pumpkin mobs. That's fun. Oh, and a little Easter egg for your right. Oh, well, that didn't work because I had full <laughs> damn because I had a, I had a strength effect right there. Infinite uh, 255 strength. Oh, yeah, that comes with the map. Sometimes it's useful, but I forgot about it. Okay, what I wanted to show off, if you get the white pumpkin variant, this is a deep cut uh, uh, lore uh, secret for you. To, uh, reference to Minecraft Story Mode. Uh, let's just hit it. Obviously, in my design, all the all the default golems have a have a health bar on the, on the stomach. It goes down uh, as its health goes down. It's really accurate. At the last stage, it blinks. But when it gets even lower, uh, we might start hitting it with a iron sword just to be sure. And when it gets even lower, it has to be really low. Let's keep going. See that? It gets a slash across its face, which is a direct def reference to the white pumpkin uh, and what happens to it in my story mode. A uh, really cool reference. I think it has a really creepy face. It looks like Freddy Fazbear a bit. I think like the same energy, you know, the eye like this. Uh, so that's just a really cool little <laughs> reference that <laughs> I don't think anyone's really going to find. But uh, I'm going to show it off here so you know that I went through all the lengths to add... Um, you know, the proper references where Minecraft deserves it, you know. And then with Ruben, uh, you can hit him, get him low on health. And it's the same type of Easter egg. We're going to punch him, keep punching him. 
Punch him again. Punch him again. We hit him a black eye. There you go. He has a black eye, which is also a reference to story mode. Uh, you want to do it to baby Ruben? You can get a baby Ruben also if you want. Yeah, let's punch him. Punch him till he gets a black eye. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, piece of shit. <laughs> I'm punching your cute face. Uh, yeah, look up. take a look at my pixel consistent baby pigs as while we're at it. Trying to punch this pig a black eye. You can do this also in your pack. Uh, very fun. Oh, look. Does he have it? Does he have a black eye? No, he doesn't. I don't think he has a black eye. We keep, I gotta keep punching him. Uh, just keep punching the baby pig. Black. Yeah, he has a black eye. Look at this. Look at us, Ruben. Stop running. We won't hit you anymore. Look at this Come on. Look at us. You look cute, Ruben. It's a good look on you, you know? People will love it. It's a little reference. Anyways, take him out of his misery. <laughs> totally didn't need to. Could have just healed him, but now we took him out of his misery. Um, yeah, that's part of the map also. Uh, Iron Golem variants up the wazoo from Minecraft Legends to Minecraft China, which is really wild, to uh, Story Mode, and uh, you know, I don't know, a bunch of shit, Minecraft Earth even. Jolly Llamas from Minecraft Earth in all the wool variants over here, all the carpet uh, uh, colors, uh, they all have different outfits. Uh, emissive maps also even, all their Jolly outfits are based on concept art. Uh, and I just mixed and matched pieces the way it made sense to me for all the different carpet colors. Fun fact, you actually never get the real Jolly Llama, like the actual one, because it's all like mix and match assets. Uh, but I don't really care, because who cares about a Jolly Llama? I just wanted to complete this, make it really con uh, consistent, really uh, in-depth, because that's the way I do things. And uh, we're done with that. We did that. So there you go. Luna. Uh, if you just name a Llama Luna, and then you put a black carpet on it, it has a little hat. And if you put a magenta carpet on it, you know, you can do this any llama. It has a little scarf. So uh, that's fun. And uh, yeah, there you go. I could also add Luna carpets for all the variants. I might do that uh, yet because that's a good idea. Uh, but so far, I've only done black and magenta because it's only seemed relevant. Villagers can be named Nurm. Uh, creepers can be named Mooboom uh, as a uh, reference to Minecraft Earth. Concept art. Just turned into a review of, of the map and all the mobs where they came from. That wasn't really supposed to happen. But uh, yeah, here are some uh, some random shovel renames. Oh, and here I put a smithing table with a bunch of uh, smithing templates and um, resources to actually add trims to your sets. Because uh, well, the armors are right here, and uh, you can actually trim my renameable armor set. So you know, if that's something you fancied, you could actually do that. All right, so I'm back. I've trimmed my ocelot armor with a golden trim. Uh, this is just a combination of set uh, set combination I really like because it has the portal uh, glow on it, ocelot armor, and then it also has the uh, portal glow on the portal staff and also on the great hawk's glory, uh, which is a crossbow added. This is like a, a, a full uh, set now. You can uh, you can rock. Uh, because of the gold trim, it looks even better together. Uh, in this case, it is the silence trim. Um, so yeah, you can actually trim these armor sets to create really cool, unique sets uh, that nobody in the server wears. You could already with armor trims, but I started renameable gear like, I don't know, four years ago, maybe, maybe three years. I don't really know. I started a while ago, way before armor trims. So uh, yeah, this is just a cool... Cool ass feature, uh, trimmable armor set, and then I made this little. This also comes with the map. This little platform, so you can like showcase 